Hello and welcome to another fan fiction reading. This time I've read it. It's How to Love by Fuzzy Bacon77. So yeah. <laughs> We're back to the stories I haven't read yet. Which Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared about this one, because of course I haven't ever read it. Which means that the uh, mature content could be anything. But I guarantee this was put in long before I was really paying attention to, you know, am I going to actually want to read this in the future? So, let's get started and hope that nothing bad happens. Chapter 1. Rupee. I was riding to school with Yang. You excited? She asked, smiling. I'm nervous. What if I'm not smart enough? I skipped two grades, I said, frowning. She smirked. That means you're special and smarter than everyone else, she said. I pouted. I don't want to be special. I just want to get through the year and not be noticed by anyone, I said, nodding. She raised her eyebrow. Good luck with that. I'm going to make sure everyone knows your name, she said, smiling. I glared at her. She parked the car. Come on, I have friends waiting, she said, opening her door. I got out and picked up my backpack. Yang, a blonde yelled. She, he was being followed by four others. Sup, dude, she yelled back. I had behind her. Who's that? The blonde asked. That's my sister, Ruby. Ruby, this is Jean, she said, smiling. I waved slightly. Hey, I said shyly. That's Pierre, Nora, Ren, and who are you? She asked. The girl with black hair smiled. I'm Blake, she said. It's nice to meet you, she said, shaking her head. These are all your friends, I asked. She laughed. No, these are my closest friends. The entire school knows me, she said. I raised an eyebrow. Not like that. Get your mind out of the gutter, she said seriously. Says the queen of dirty jokes, Pierre said, laughing. Wait, what? I asked. Yang scratched the back of her head. Well, she makes very funny but dirty jokes all the time, Ren said. Yang smiled. Did you get that from Dad? I asked. She shrugged. I don't know, she said. Anyway, let me show you around so you aren't completely lost, Yang said, taking my schedule. Nerd, she said, looking at me. I raised an eyebrow. You have advanced classes with Pierre, Jim with me and Nora, and you're in band with Jean, Ren, and Blake. So you'll be following us around all day, Yang said. Pierre smiled. I finally have someone equally as intelligent to, as me to talk to, she said, smiling. Ren and Blake glared at her, and Nora shrugged. So we have two nerds in the group, Nora said, smirking. Pierre flipped her off, and Yang laughed. We should get going. <laughs> Hey, ugh, everything. Pierre nodded. Come on, Ruby, we have math to do, Pierre said excitedly. I smiled. Nerd! Yang yelled. <laughs> God. <laughs> Dumbass, Pierre said, and Yang scoffed. I read, Yang yelled. I laughed. Yeah, every eight years, I, s I said. <laughs> Yang glared at me. Go do math or some shit, she said angrily. Ooh. Ugh. <laughs> I can tell this is gonna be pretty great. Okay. I followed Pira into the wow, this terrible. I followed Pira into the school. Everyone is so much taller than me. Pira sat in the back. Sit right here, she said, pointing to the seat next to her. Okay, she said sitting. She smiled. Or I said wow, I don't even know. I said sitting, she smiled. A girl with white hair sat next to her. Hello, Pira, she said formally. Then she smiled. Hello, Weiss. I want you to meet Ruby, she said equally as formal. Can we drop the formulas now? It hurts my brain, the second girl said sitting. Okay, Weiss said smiling. Nice to meet you, Ruby. I'm Chess, she said smiling. Hey, I said again. I'm Weiss, the white haired girl said. She's kind of cute. She's an heiress to some rich company no one cares about, Chess said, smirking. Weiss glared at her. Tell that to our billions of customers, she said angrily. So she's the cute bitch. <laughs> okay. So she's the cute bitch. All right, that's fair enough. My mom is a detective, Chess said, smiling. My parents are models, Pierre said, smiling. That explains why you're so hot, Chess said, smiling. I'm not interested, Pierre said calmly. Chess smirked. I know. I just don't want a girl right now. I just want to flirt. Fair enough. Chess reasoned with her. 
Stop being dumb, White said, glaring at her. Jess glared back at her. I'm not dumb. I'm highly intelligent with book smarts, she said, laughing nervously. You have street smarts, too, until you get pissed, Pierce said, laughing. So, Ruby, tell me about yourself, Chess said, winking. I, I, uh, I felt my face burn red. White slapped my shoulder. Fine, I'll stop. Continue, Chess smir said, smirking. Skip two grades. I don't have that many friends, and I just want to get through senior year. I said, <laughs> seriously. <sighs> Chess smirk. Those are some fair goals. <laughs> that, is, that is a fair assessment of everything that the audience knows right now. <laughs> okay. Everyone knows your sister Yang, too. They'll know you pretty soon, Chess said, smiling. I raised an eyebrow. How did you know her siblings, I asked. He, she smirked and showed me her phone. Yang scrolled it to everyone. Okay, whatever. She said. I blushed. Where did she find that picture? I asked. I don't know, but you look hot, Chess asked. Chess said. I kicked her from under the table. Wise looked at the picture and turned red. Damn, the sunlight hit you perfectly. That shirt compliments the short shorts, Chess said, looking back at me. I was just wearing my red hoodie, red converse, and black skinny jeans. You just need a tan, Pierre said. <laughs> Weiss winked at me. Just like Weiss, Pierre added. Jerk, Weiss said. Oh, boy. This is ridiculous. Later. Just need, like, the legitimate transla tra transitions. That's what I mean. Oh, Okay. <laughs> Like, I don't know why my brain is so broken right now. Everyone in the hallway tried to talk to me. I was being dragged by, to lunch by Yang. Come on, sis, she said eagerly. She was holding my wrist. Yang, a jock yelled. Sup, Rock, she said smiling. Rock winked at me. Rose, she said seductively. <laughs> Yang growled at her and crossed her arms. Rock stopped and took a step back. Sorry, it's a habit, she said. Yang glared at her. It better be. Come on, Rubes, Yang said. I nodded and followed her. Is like 90% of the girls here like homosexual? Like, I mean, that's kind of ridiculous. I don't know. I'm just not going to question it. I love getting texts when I can't even check them. <laughs> This is wonderful! Ah! Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, it's a habit, she said. Yang glared at her. It better be. Come on, Rubes, Yang said. I nodded and followed her. Hey, guys, Yang said, smiling. They waved at us. Yang, the school loves you and your sister, Nora said, looking at her phone. I know, too many flirty jerks, Yang said angrily. I glared at her. I'm not a kid anymore, Yang. I said. She frowned. I know, but you're so innocent. It's cute, she said, pouting. I'm growing up, Yang. She hugged me. I know you are, but I need you to slow down, she said sadly. Yang, I swear to God, don't do this in public, I said. She nodded and let it and let me go. Anyway, how is how were your classes? she asked. I shrugged. They were okay. Too many people looked at me weirdly though, I said. And growled. Wait, who do I need to break first? She asked. Wait, what? She good at me? Love sucks, but when they leave, it does. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> right then. Chapter two. Oh, I didn't. I didn't say this only has like, oh, it has twelve chapters. So this may be a couple episodes, considering that was that there was one chapter in like almost nine minutes. Anyways, twice. I tried to concentrate in class, but all I could think about was Ruby. She's kind of cute, but everyone wants her, even the straight girls. You sure there is any of them? Hey, Weiss. A shy voice spoke. Speak of the devil. Hey, Ruby. It was my free period. Guess she had one, too. We were in the library. What are you doing, she said. I stopped writing and looked up at her. Studying for the next math test, I said. She raised an eyebrow. The one in three weeks, she asked. I sighed. She didn't know. No one did. Yes, I'm going to ace it, I said, faking a smile. I had to ace it or else. Oh, okay, she said nervously. Can I sit with you, she asked. I nodded. Now I really won't be able to concentrate. Need any help, she asked. I shook my head. She sighed and put her head down. Ruby, Yang asked. Ruby looked up at her and shook her head. Oh, sorry, she whispered. I looked up at her. She looked at me, and we made eye contact. I felt my face heat up. She turned red. 
I um, I gotta go, she says, standing and leaving. I looked up at her. Yang noticed and glared at me. What did you do? She asked angrily. We just made eye contact. I didn't do anything, I said, lo- looking at the door Ruby used to exit the library. Yang growled and left the room. I was alone again. I put my stuff in my bag and got ready to leave. Only five minutes left of school. I started walking to the entrance, passing tons of students that don't know me. The bell rang loudly. I walked out of the doors towards my car. I pressed the button and the doors opened upwards. All right. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. You see, if there was one thing that I would have loved to see was, like, a really nice car. Like, at the parking lot at school. I probably wouldn't. That probably wouldn't have been okay, because it's, like, it's not mine, but... (laughs) Whatever. Uh, (laughs) I pressed the button and the doors opened upwards. I got in and shut my doors. Now I'll have to return to home where love doesn't exist. I drove home, arriving there at four like I did every day. Another one, my father yelled angrily. I flinched at his voice. I went upstairs to my room. I put my backpack on my desk and sat at, on the end of my bed. Weiss, father yelled angrily. I stood up and walked to his office. Yes, sir, I asked. He had broken everything in his office. Fix this, he said to the mess. I walked to his computer screen, well, half of it. I don't think I can, sir, I said, looking at him. He set up and picked up the screen and threw it behind him. Weiss, go to your room, he said. Father was clearly stressed beyond his limits. He can't even think straight. Yes, sir. I had to listen to him from fear. Yang. I found Ruby in my car. Her face was red. I got in and started the car. You okay, I asked. She nodded. Want to talk about it, I asked. She hesitated, then nodded. But can we get home first? She asked. I smiled. Okay. Later. (laughs) So what happened earlier? I asked. She grabbed my hand and I followed her inside. She walked to her room. She let go of my hand and sat down on her bed. I sat in her desk chair. Promise not to tell everyone? She asked. I nodded. So we're having that talk. I think I like someone, she said, blushing. So we're having that talk. Okay. Who is it? I said, and I said, smirking. She looked at the ground and sighed. Weiss, she said. I coughed and fell over in the chair. You like Ice Queen, I asked. She nodded. She's the Ice Queen because all she does is reject guys, I said. Ruby shrugged. Maybe she's not straight, she said. I shrugged. Maybe she is. Maybe she's not. Don't tell your feelings in public. It'll hurt worse if she rejects you with all those people watching. I said, seriously, she nodded, and dropped a shy girl act. I said, she raised an eyebrow. What act, she asked. Wait, you're really that shy, I asked. She threw a pillow at me. Yeah, she yelled. I nodded. Noted, I said. But you need to be more, but you need to be confident, I said. She flipped me off. (laughs) You know that's hard for me, she said, rubbing her arm. And you need a new look and a tan. I said. She glared at me. As long as I keep, as long as I keep my hoodie, she said. I smiled and nodded. Keep it as long as you want, I said. And she smiled. Wear this, I said, pointing to her short shorts. With this, with your hoodie and high tops, she nodded. I grabbed her shorts and went to the bathroom. Maybe my phone vibrated. I answered. Hello? I asked. Yang, let's go to the mall. Bring Ruby. The rest of us are on our way, Nora said. Okay, we'll be there, I said excitedly. She hung up and I smiled. Done, Ruby said, smiling. I hugged her. You look great, I squealed. She put a hand on her on her hip and winked. That's incest. Incest is wrong. But we need to get going, I said, grabbing her hand. I pulled her to the car. Where are we going? The mall with the others, I said, smiling. She smiled. Let's go, then. Yes, ma'am. All right. And another ad. Wonderful. You don't understand these ads. Like, it's it's just like, why? That's the real question. Like, I, I really don't understand. <laughs> Chapter 3! Ruby. Yang parked and got out. I followed her I followed her smiling. The others were waiting in front of the entrance. Sup, guys, Yang said. Hey, Yang. Yang elbowed me. I looked at her and raised an eyebrow. She winked and I looked around. I saw the most beautiful thing ever. Weiss. She was in normal clothes instead of a dress. I looked at Yang and turned red. Let's go already, Nora yelled. She bounced away. Nora ran, yelled... Yelled, smiling. He ran to catch up with her. I followed Yang. Pierre was walking on my left. I like your new look, she said, smiling. I smiled. Thanks, Pierre. I said. Weiss was on her phone behind me. Wait, behind me? 
<laughs> oh, God. Has she been staring at my butt? She licked her lips. Yes, she has. God. Shows off your legs, Weiss said, smirking. I blushed above my forehead on Yang's back. Get off, it's hot, Yang said. I looked up at her, and she smirked. I glared at her. I know I'm hot, Chess said, smirking. Not as hot as those legs, she said, winking at me. Oh, God. This is all this fucking, like, whatever. Uh, no, just move along. She said, winking at me, and growled. I'm not interested. I already have my eyes on someone, I said. Just smiled. Thank God, now I can drop the cool guy act, she said. I raised an eyebrow. I act like that, just like my twin acts like I don't exist, she yelled the last part. A girl right glared at her. They look exact the exact same, but Chess is more muscular. Shut up, Chess, she said. Chess smirked. What do you say, Louisiana? Chess said. What did I tell you about calling me that? She said, growling. Sorry, Louise. I forgot you hate your first name, Chess said, pouting. I'm hungry, Rocket said. Chess, Rocket? Okay. Chess smirked. I'll feed you, she said. Rock punched her. Ow! Okay, okay, I'm sorry, Chess said, holding her arm. Me too, I said. Just turn to me. Let's go find... Let's go get something then, she said. Weiss handed her a few hundreds. Use this, she said. Yang's jaw dropped. That's my allowance for a week, she said. Yang coughed and I and almost fell over. I held her up by her arm. She was leaning on me. Maybe you should hold it. The last time Yang had a lot, she bought a motorcycle, I said. Yang gave her back the money. Yeah, that's a great idea. I never talk about a motorcycle. I haven't ridden it in years, she said sadly. Let's go eat, she yelled out. Stop yelling in my ear, I said, pushing her face away. <sighs> God. I, I don't know. I think, it's, I think it's just funny how it's like 90% of this group is girls and the only two guys are Jean and Ren. <laughs> And, like, half the girls in the group are, like, just, like, ridiculously athletic, as it seems. And just, I don't know. It's all it's all weird. It's why we need an explanation on some of the characters. Anyways. Later. That's gross, I said, laughing. It was dark out and we were at the park. Ruby, can we talk? Weiss asked. Yang was still standing there. I elbowed her. Oh, my bad, she said, walking towards the twins and rock. Hmm? I said, turning back to her. She was blushing. I, I like you, she said. As a friend, I asked. She shook her head. More, she said softly. I hugged her and she put her head on my shoulder. I like you too, I whispered. I blushed and smiled. She pulled away and kissed me. I wrapped my arms around her. Ruby, I... I pulled away and glared at Yang. God damn it, Yang! Stop being a cock block, she... I yelled. She left and put a hand on my shoulder. Dad said we should get home soon, she said, smirking. She started walking towards the car. We'll continue this later, I said, winking. I ran after Yang. It's like, question mark. POV. I took the picture and smirked. Should we be doing this? Of course, evil is what we do. Whatever you say. Weiss. I smiled to myself. I felt the hand on my shoulder. We recorded the entire thing, Pierce said, laughing. I blushed and turned her turned to her. She's cute, I said, smiling. Pierce smirked. Nora has it on her phone, she said. Tell her to send it to me, I said, laughing. I left smiling. So some dude is probably trying to, like, ruin, I don't know, something. Somebody's trying to, like, ruin Weiss's reputation or some stupidity. I don't know. Chapter 4! Weiss. <laughs> I walked through the halls of Beacon, but this time it was with Ruby. She's a nice person that's obsessed with cookies. Would have never guessed. Want to go to the library, she asked. I nodded and took her hand. We walked to the library. I let go of her hand and sat down. Her eyes were wide and she was blushing. What, I asked. She blushed even more. Why did you hold my hand, she asked. I shrugged, because you're cute. I said it was... I said it... I said like it was obvious. She sat next to me and put her head on my shoulder. I love free period, she said, smiling. 
Why is that? I asked. She kissed my cheek because I could just spend it with you, she said happily. I smiled softly. She giggled and kissed my neck. Stop. It feels weird, I said. She smirked. You are weird, she asked. Or she said. Wow. Not as weird as you, I said. She laughed slightly. Or lightly. Someone cleared their throat. My eyes widened and I turned. Hello? Fuck, it's Cinder. What do you want, Cinder? I asked. She's rich and popular. Why the fuck would she mess with me? Power, she said, smiling. All right. I smirked. What do you have that could possibly... She had her first kiss. Why are you always in bushes and stalking people and shit? I asked. She laughed. It's fun. She said, smiling. I don't... I really don't care if you show anyone, Ruby said. I nodded. Me neither, I said, shrugging. She growled. Fine, I'll scroll it then, she said, laughing evilly. I shrugged. And show that you're a creepy stalker in the bushes, I said, once she scrolled it. Won't Yang see it? Ruby asked. I nodded. Nice knowing you, Cinder, Ruby said, smiling. I laughed. I heard stomping and looked, I heard stomping and looked up. Yang was pissed. Ruby, go get in the car, she said angrily. Ruby nodded. Bye, wife, she said, smiling. Bye, Ruby, I said, smiling. And you don't ever stalk me or my family ever again or else, Yang said, her eyes turning red. She sighed and her eyes turned lilac. See you later, wife, she said, smiling. She walked out of the room. I grabbed my backpack and left. My phone vibrated and I answered. Hello, I asked. I thought you were straight, Winter yelled. I'm not. I never have been. You would have noticed if you loved me. I yelled. Someone put a hand on my shoulder. I stopped walking. I do love you, Winter said, hanging up. I growled. Prove it! I yelled angrily. She hugged me and I sobbed into her shirt. I flew across the world to come see you, she said. She carried me to her car. We'll get yours later, she said softly. She put me in the passenger seat. She got in the driver's seat and smiled at me. If anything happens, call me, okay? I'll come back for you, Winter said seriously. I nodded and let out a choked sob. Ruby. When Yang got in the car, she was smiling. Let's go home. She she said happily. I nodded and raised an eyebrow. What did you do? I asked. She smirked. Justice, she said. I glared at her. Don't look at me like that, she said, glancing at me. She parked the car. Get out, she said. This isn't our house, I said. She got out and I followed. I know, it's Blake's house, she said, smiling. Since when did you and Blake... She put a hand on my face. I move faster than most, <laughs> She said, smirking. My jaw dropped. She knocked on the door. Hello? A small boy asked. He saw Yang and smiled. Blake! He yelled. Blake walked to the door, yawning. Hey, guys, she said, gargly. You okay? I asked. Blake nodded. Just woke up from a nap, she said. Come on in, she said, stepping out of the way. I clo- she closed the door behind us. Blake, you can babysit your si- your- can you babysit your siblings, me and your father are going out tonight, Blake's mom said, smiling. Okay, Blake said with a sigh. Blake, he stepped on my tail, a faunus girl said angrily. Blake hissed at the boy. Come on, Brian, Blake's mom yelled. She went outside. Blake's dad ran outside. How many siblings do you have? I asked. Seven, she said, sighing. There's Bella, Barney, Brody, Bongo, Beatrix, Beauty, and Craig. Come on. She said, raised an eyebrow. It sucks, but I have a twin, she said, smiling. Bongo, she yelled, for fuck's sake, why? <sighs> he came down the stairs. Yes, he asked. He saw Yang and smirked. Why, hello, princess, he said, kissing her hand. Pack off, she's mine, Blake said, hissing. Bongo let go of her hand. If it doesn't work out with Blake, you know where to find me, he said, winking. Blake was glaring at him. I couldn't do that. Our love is perfect, and if we break up, I would cry every time I saw you. You looked exactly like her, but with short hair. Yang said. Blake chuckled and Bongo flipped her off. Suck it, Blake said laughing. Swallow it. Ear it. Fuck it. Fuck you. Uh, I I love you, Blake, Bongo said. Blake rolled her eyes. I guess I love you too, she's mumbled. You know, you know you do, he said smiling. He gave her a side hug. She crossed her arms. And there was a loud snarl from upstairs. Be right back, Blake said, walking up the stairs. Bella Belladonna, she yelled. For fuck's sake. (laughs) Pongo yelled. She can be so serious sometimes, except on Saturdays, she's always happy. 
he said. Yang smiled because we have dates on Saturday, she said happily. It could be a double date if someone would go grow some and ask why she said elbowing me. I dared her. I, wow, I glared at her. She's amazing every way, and I'm me. She'll reject me, I said, frowning. No, she won't. You guys have been friends with benefits for a while now. I looked up at her, and she smiled. But if she breaks your heart, I'll break her face. Wonderful. And even though we haven't really gotten a ton done, I think we'll be good to stop at chapter five. So we probably only have three parts of this if the story continues to be about the same length. Or three parts of this if the story continues to be about the same length. I don't know if that's what I just said. Whatever, if all the chapters are... If all the chapters are the same length as the ones that have already happened, then... Then... We will have about three episodes of this fan fiction. And then we will continue on to something different. Which will be another story I haven't read. But yeah, so next time will be another part of this.